Our present military organizational structure is a result of the National Security Act of 1947. This is the same act that created the United States Air Force and restructured the War Department into the Department of Defense. Our U.S. Army contain of several branches. Now let's see about those branches separately. Army. The United States Army is the main ground force of the United States. The Army's main function is to protect and defend the United States and its interests by way of ground troops, armor, tanks, artillery, attack helicopters, tactical nuclear weapons, etc. The Army is the oldest United States military service, officially established by the Continental Congress on June 14, 1775. The Army is also the largest United States military service. There are approximately 76,000 officers and 401,000 enlisted members in the active duty Army. The Army is supported by two reserve forces which can be tapped for trained personnel and equipment during times of need, the Army Reserves and the Army National Guard. The primary difference between the two is that the reserves are owned and managed by the federal government, and each state owns its own National Guard. However, the President of the United States, or the Secretary of Defense can activate state National Guard members into federal military service during times of need. Air Force The Air Force is the youngest military service force was created in 1947, under the National Security Act of 1947. Prior to 1947, the Air Force was a separate corps of the Army. The primary mission of the Army Air Corps was to support Army ground forces. However World War II showed that air power had much more potential than simply supporting ground troops, so the Air Force was established as a separate service. The primary mission of the Air Force is to defend the United States and its interests through exploitation of air and space. To accomplish this mission, the Air Force operates fighter aircraft, tanker aircraft, light and heavy bomber aircraft, transport aircraft, and helicopters, which are used mainly for rescue of downed aircrew and special operations missions. The Air Force is also responsible for all military satellites and controls all of our nation's strategic nuclear ballistic missiles. There are about 69,000 commissioned officers on active duty in the Air Force and about 288,000 enlisted members. Like the Army, the active duty Air Force is supplemented by the Air Force Reserves and the Air National Guard. Navy. Like the Army, the Navy was officially established by the Continental Congress in 1775. The Navy's primary mission is to maintain the freedom of the seas. The Navy makes it possible for the United States to use the seas where and when our national interests require it in addition. In times of conflict, the Navy helps to supplement Air Force air power. Navy aircraft carriers can often deploy to areas where fixed runways are impossible. An aircraft carrier usually carries about 80 aircraft. Most of these are fighters or fighter bombers. Additionally, Navy ships can attack land targets from miles away with very heavy guns and cruise missiles. Navy submarines, fast attack and ballistic missile subs allow stealth attacks on our enemies from right off their shores. The Navy is also primarily responsible for transporting Marines to areas of conflict. Marine Corps The Marines are often referred to as the infantry of the Navy. Marines specialize in amphibious operations. In other words, their primary specialty is to assault, capture, and control beachheads, which then provide a route to attack the enemy from almost any direction. The Marines were officially established on the 10th of November, 1775, by the Continental Congress to act as a landing force for the United States Navy. In 1798, however, Congress established the Marine Corps as a separate service. While amphibious operations are their primary specialty, in recent years, the Marines have expanded other ground combat operations as well. The Marines are generally a lighter force when compared to the Army, so they can generally be deployed fast. Coast Guard The United States Coast Guard was originally established as the Revenue Cutter Service in 1790. In 1915, it was reformed as the United States Coast Guard under the Treasury Department. In 1967, the Coast Guard was transferred to the Department of Transportation. 
legislation passed in 2002 transferred the Coast Guard to the Department of Homeland Security.